Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're on this world. I'm DJ Unification, also known as Double Dragon 912. And today, 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 you are listening to, guess what? News Fridays is finally back. Gameplay footage you see in the background is going to be a surprise to you and surprise to me. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing that lately. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's bring you to my first news story of today, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, got some sad news for uh, Sony workers out there. They have laid off 900 people in their workforce. Wow. Now, this is crazy because Sony just bought, you know, Fire Sprite and a couple more uh, studios they bought lately. And since they bought all that stuff, like I was saying last time in my video, when these companies, you know, you think a company giving you a raise, they're gonna cut back somewhere. So, they talking about they wanna restructure and everything, but apparently, uh, it's just to be uh, laid off. I haven't been laid off before, it sucks. Ain't nothing fun about that. Let me get that out, out there right now. Ain't nothing fun about being laid off. I don't work 13 jobs in my lifetime, and being laid off never never felt good, it's, it sucks. I pray in Jesus' name that y'all can be able to, the, the employees be able to find them another job somewhere, a better paying job. Wishing nothing but the best for y'all. But the Twisted Metal game reportedly has been canceled by Sony because they had these massive layoffs. And apparently it wasn't that too far along. It was in the early stages and it's going to be a live service game. And I'm not a fan of live service games, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's why I don't buy too many of them because it's like a pay to win process, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not a big fan of live service game. That's just me. And uh, apparently that, what is that? Hell Divers 2 is doing real good, doing so good that the, the guy has to, that's over the creative director that's, that made, helped make the game. He got to make more servers because everybody on there, is, you know, they, they had a thumbnail in the bottle or whatever. I probably said it wrong, but y'all know what I mean with Hell Divers 2. But yeah, man, uh, I would like to see another Twisted Metal game, but I don't know I w if I would have liked to see it as a live service game, nah, I wouldn't like that. I would have just liked a, a plain single player old school game like it used to be, you know, like Twisted Metal 2 and uh, 3 and Black and all that stuff was back in the day. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Sony done laid off some folks. These video game companies, man, they laying off folks. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I may be wrong on this, but I believe a lot of this laying off going on because Y'all putting out that crap, put out some good games, and you probably wouldn't have to lay folks off. Put out some better stuff, just being honest with you. It's a good time to be a game, but a lot of this stuff, there's a lot of crap they've been putting out lately. And you know, folks ain't buying it, I'm telling you. I think that's why a lot of these layoffs going on. Also, uh, EA, EA Sports, not EA Sports, but EA, they laid off 670 workers. They laid off some of their workforce too. Uh, some respawn games, something like that. I have a link in the description where y'all can read all these articles I'm telling y'all about. But layoffs suck. That's why I was, I didn't want to report on this, but I try to give y'all all the news, even if it's bad news. Now, most time I don't like to report on bad news, but y'all need to know, man, that what's going on with your favorite video games companies. Sony laying off folks and EA laying off folks too. That's, that's messed up. Layoffs suck. I haven't been laid off before. It's not a good feeling. I know I ain't the only one in America that I've been laid off. Not just America, all across the world. In the UK, whoever y'all listening, all in the world. I just can't say America, all across the world. It sucks being laid off. Hope and pray these folks can find them a better paying job. That's what I'm hoping for. But let's keep this thing rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Moving right along. Moving right along. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what else we're going to talk about here today. Now, let me tell you about this. Last of Us director Neil Druckmann says he doesn't think he has many more big games left in him. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great thing. <laughs> Y'all probably like, well, what you mean, Double Dragon? Why well, is a great thing? The, that debacle he did with Last of Us 2, I know him. A lot of folks like Last of Us 2. I know it sold over 10 million. But I thought Last of Us 2 was one of the worst video games ever. I didn't even play it. 
Cause I, I saw and heard about what happened in this game. I ain't even waste my money on it. I like no, y'all ain't finna get my money on that. Neil Druckmann been making a lot of, dare I say it, woke games lately. That's all he makes. Crazy woke games. That's all he makes. He need to sit his behind down somewhere. He need to retire. It's good for him to retire. Sit your behind down. Let somebody else make some uh, Last of Us games. Cause the first Last of Us was, dare I say, almost close to a masterpiece. I love the first Last of Us. Great game. I mean, they left it. He left it open for to keep this story going. You, there were so many possibilities. You could have went with The Last of Us 2, and you went and did this crap. I mean, you just destroyed it. Uh, basically, I ain't going to spoil it, because some of y'all might want to play that garbage Last of Us 2. I'm not going to play it. I know what's going to happen. It, it been spoiled to me, but I didn't mind that getting spoiled. Most times, I don't mind spoilers, but... They could have spoiled Last of Us 2 all day. I don't care. I think it's straight trash. I'm glad I didn't pay for it. I don't see that game on sale. Plays at $20, somewhere $10. I still didn't buy it. Because I, I ain't finna waste my time with that garbage. They can have it. Good. Retire Neil Druckmann. Go, go chill and collect your millions. Collect your, your service package. Sit your behind down. Let somebody else get in there with some fresh minds. And do some better stuff. They need to leave Last of Us alone. Ugh, ugh. Last was too. That's why I didn't even play it. I don't even want to play it. Y'all that like it, have at it. But Double Dragon 912, I'm not playing it. I'm glad he retired. This is what he said in the interview in the podcast. They were talking about on um, NG4, and not NG4, M4G News. Y'all click the link in the description. Y'all can see the whole podcast where he talked to, uh, who is this dude he talked to? He had an interview with somebody right in here. Uh, I don't even know who this dude is. Yeah, he talked about it all smiling. And y'all know he then went there and canceled all. Uh, what was that? I ain't. I wasn't even in it, but the multiplayer for last was canceled all that. He need to retire. That's just my opinion, though. You know, some some of y'all love last was too, so y'all might not like this. So I'm just being. I'm giving my opinion, but at the same time, telling y'all what's going on. But this is a little interview they had right here where they did the. The full um, interview with Neil Drummond. Last of Us, Neil Drummond. Right. Chef All Cookie, that's fine. Says that he does think he has many more big games left in him. He's up here, up here talking about it, y'all. But y'all can watch this. I ain't studying it. I ain't gonna say that. that that's wrong with me. <laughs> I ain't studying that. He, he need to retire, that's my opinion. Anyways, moving right along. Moving right along. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about this right here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Wrath of the Mutants has been announced for the PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Due out April 23rd. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, apparently, this is, according to this news article, this is like the arcade game that came out in 2017 with like four more levels added to it. I've never heard of this game. Maybe y'all heard of this game down in the comments section. Let me know down in the comments section. Here you go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Wrath of the Mutants is a port of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade game released by Raw Thrills in 2017. It featured four player local cooperative play. Mm -hmm. And voiceover by the television show voice actor Seth Green, Seth Aston, Rob Paulson, and Greg Kipps. In addition to the original arcade, six stages, and 13 boss battles. The home release adds three new stages and six new boss battles. Okay, I might check it out. Y'all know I love beat em ups anyways. I might just check this out because I like beat em ups, but I don't like the way the art style look. Not a fan of that, but we'll see. We'll see come April 23rd. We will see. I don't like the, the, the how the art style look, but I definitely will check it out because I love me some beat em ups. Y'all know this. This 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 this, this is no secret. Y'all know I y'all know I love me some beat em ups, so Double Dragon 912 will definitely check that out. Alright, moving right along. 
moving right along. Now, ladies and gentlemen, got another news story for you guys and girls. Um, apparently, when Sea of Thieves comes out for the PlayStation 5, you have to have a Microsoft account to actually play the game. Wow, that's that's ridiculous, Microsoft. I wasn't gonna get no Sea of Thieves anyways. It's not my particular brand of, uh, of, of Kool-Aid. You know, some people say particular brand of vodka, but y'all know what I'm saying. But there's a, uh, let me let y'all pick this bad boy up so y'all can read. I can read this bad boy out to y'all. Give me a second. Yeah, here we go. I found it, y'all. My bad. Sea of Thieves requires Xbox, requires, it needs a Microsoft account to play. Now, now Microsoft, why are you requiring people to have an account just to play your raggedy behind game? Really? Seriously, Microsoft? Really? That's crazy. If you go farm out your games, Microsoft, don't put it behind your, your Microsoft account. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably say, well, you know, everybody should have a Microsoft account. Yeah, they should, but still, don't 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 put your stuff behind a account wall just to be able to play y'all little regular Sea of Thieves game. I think that's messed up. You should be able to buy the game, download it, and play. You shouldn't have to require me to have a Microsoft account to uh, play the game. That's ridiculous. I'm not a fan of this. Well, y'all can read up on everything it's talking about with the need of Microsoft account because they say you need to do this to do the cross play and voice chat and all that stuff just to just to play uh sea of these i wasn't gonna get the game anyway you know but that's just me so i want to let y'all know you know a lot of folks won't tell you this but I, I try to let everybody know what's going on you know the, the whistleblower as they say anyways moving right along moving right along now ladies and gentlemen let's get into my last new story for today Ladies and gentlemen, let me get it. Let me get it on. Let me get it on. Let me get it on. I just had it up here. No, no, no. Disappear. There we go. The final stages of Grand Theft Auto 6 development is underway. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is great news. Let's see an email from Rockstar Leadership to employees. Revealed that the highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6 is entering the last stages of development. Yes! That's great, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, hopefully, 2025, next year, we might be able to get this thing real close. You know, maybe early to early next year, we'll be able to get this game. Because I am looking forward to it. GTA 6 is in the final stage of development with Rockstar employees being called back to their office for increased productivity and security. Fans are excited for the new game as evidenced by the record-breaking tra trailer views. I know that, that thing probably got millions of views. This is great news. All my GTA fans out there, I know a lot of, lot of people out there gotta be GTA fans. This is great news, ladies and gentlemen, that they're in the final stages. I mean, hopefully, by, I, I'm going to say mid-2025, we get, by the end of this year, maybe we'll get a re release date, and we'll get the game by mid-2025. And you know I'm going to get a physical version of it. I know it's coming out on probably next-gen only, the way them graphics were looking. I don't think they're going to bring it on PS4 and Xbox One. It'd be nice if they did, though. Everybody should be able to play it. But, man. How good them graphics look. I think they're gonna this is probably gonna be a next gen on the game. But I can't wait to see what they do with this thing. I am hype! I am hype! Hype about GTA, man. I got all the GTAs over there. I'm I'm, I'm very hype. Not all of them. I ain't got the GTA 1, GTA 2, and all that stuff. But yeah. That about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen, for this rendition of News Fridays, ladies and gentlemen. Leave comments below, ladies and gentlemen. Tell what you guys girls think about GTA 6 in the final stages. Y'all hype about it like I am, or y'all don't even care? Also, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you guys and girls think about uh, Neil Drummond saying he said he ain't got too many more big titles in him. He said he about, he about ready to retire. Y'all happy about this like I am? I'm happy he about to retire, so he won't tear nothing else up. 
Or y'all like, oh, I'm so sad. Neil Druckmann is gone. Let me know about that down there in the comment section. Also, ladies and gentlemen, tell what you guys girl think about this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. Ain't nothing about it. It's coming out April 23rd. Y'all gonna get it? Or y'all, did y'all even know about it? Just like I didn't know about it. Leave comments below. Tell me what you guys and girls think about uh, Twisted Metal reportedly being canceled because of these layoffs. Like I said, layoffs suck, man. I'm not a big fan, so I don't like layoffs either. I've been laid off. It sucks. Tell me what you guys and girls think about that. Also, tell me what you guys and girls think about see up these you know ps5 players need a microsoft account just to play the freaking game y'all think that's necessary or y'all like me that's that's effed up microsoft you're gonna form out your game just let full play them don't require them to get a microsoft account that's crazy leave comments below thank you guys and girls so much for watching stay tuned for more great video game news like this on the way double dragon 912 signing out peace out